Hey guys. <clears throat> Alright, so today I am going to be building a a cauldron key. And I do not know if anyone's came up with this idea yet. But basically what it does is it's a passcode that uses cauldrons. So before we get into building it, I'm going to show you how it works. So just so you know that it meets your specifications. If it does meet your specifications, you got to grab water bottles. You got to have water bottles for these. So I suggest... If you're gonna make this, like make an infinite water source. But um so the goal No, we're not gonna get into how it works here, but um so we're gonna get into how it how you enter the code. So um so when you enter the right code this lamp will turn on. It could be hooked up to anything. Um so the code is three two one. Obviously you can have a more secure code. Um, like maybe two three one or w yeah there's not very many code combinations but um um but it's very well hidden so now we're gonna get into building it okay guys so these are gonna be the things that you need to build this uh, make sure to read the instructions carefully and pause to make sure that you can get everything you need all right guys now we're gonna get into the actual building process so that way um, we can show you how to build it so First up, you're going to want to place your three cauldrons. Make sure to place them, I believe, about four blocks apart. I'll fix it later if I made a mistake. Okay, I just went and checked my previous divine. Um, yes, that is the right way to do it. Now, um, you're going to want to take your block of choice and you're going to want to place them in front of each of them. Um, this is like the wall of your base, kind of. like just. Just like pretend there's like a big wall here. Now we're gonna place these redstone comparators along here. These comparators, um, they can detect how full the cauldron is through your wall. As long as I think it's a, it's a solid block, can't be like glass in case you're like displaying it. So I suggest you like have like, I'm just gonna use wool for this design. Um, so yeah. Next, you're gonna wanna take three pieces of redstone dust and line them up all around the repeaters. I mean, comparators. Next, you wanna take your target blocks and you're gonna place them right there. Now, the reason we need target blocks is because they're the only block in the game that doesn't do anything but redirects, but redirects stuff to it. Like, no blocks don't redirect and they can still take redstone inputs, but um, stuff like redstone lamps turn on and you don't want things flashing around. That could somehow give it away. Okay, so the next step you're going to want to do is place five redstone dusts along like this on every in front of one of the target blocks. Every one of them. Sorry, that was a mistake. I had to re-record something. Anyways, um... Okay, so now we're going to place um, the redstone dust and connect all these lines like this. And once we have done that... Um, we're gonna add this thing I built this off camera and this right here this is um, just the output to show that the output is working currently it's on it will not be in the future so now we are going to take uh, our repeaters and we are going to place them on each one of these just for some space Except for that one. This one, that one doesn't need it. And now we're going to, yeah, the one in the very end of the way doesn't need it. So now we're going to place our key combination now. You gotta listen up for this part a little bit. You gotta listen up a little bit. So we don't need this redstone up here anymore. I thought I did. Just grab that if you follow my directions carefully. Um, so the key combination is a little bit hard to understand. So basically, you have to tell it um, well whether or not it's going to work. So if I had a water bottle, then um, I could place it in here, and it would give an output through the wall of a signal of 1. And it would activate on this target block, which I could place a redstone torch on the other side to turn off this signal. Now, 
um, now, but if they make it two or three, which let's say we don't want that, we only want it to be one to be the correct code for this section, then it would be the correct code for any section because if I fill this up with water, it's going to go one, two, three, but it's never going to turn this one off. So how do we fix that? Um, I mean, it's, I mean, it's never going to turn this one off. So how do we fix that? Um, we got to place this here. That is like a border. You got to have it turn completely off or else it will keep this active. So you set this to one, it goes to this one, doesn't go to this one, but it goes into this one, turns it off, this one's still off. Now, if we were to do two or three, the, if either of those were on or if both of them are on, then it would activate this. Even though this is turned off, this would still be activated and send a signal. Now, now that you notice that the signal is what we don't want, the signal connects to this redstone lamp, which turns it off, which is, we want it to be on when the code has been fully implemented. So now we're just going to, using these rules, make a new code. So the code for me in this example is going to be 1, 3, 2. So here, so I'm going to do a couple more examples. So 1 would have to be that one over there, and then 3, we have to turn this one off. But oh, looks like we won't need to do it because you can't go any higher. And you can't. And if you go lower, this won't turn on. So it's fine. So we can take those back. And for two, it's a little bit more complicated. You just take this and do that. And that way, this one is can't be on. And then you can collect that since it's an extra if you're following my code. But you can set up different codes. And keep in mind, you can repeat the process of this over and over by just multiplying your results. That's why I added all that crazy crap over there next to that stand. And, you know, like all the equations and stuff. But um, anyways, you can delay this a little bit if you want to make it a little bit more confusing and hard to, and harder to brute force. Um, and now that the lamp's off and nothing's implemented yet, um, let's go ahead and test it. Okay. Now, for this to be efficient, if you have a lake nearby, you won't really need this, but if you don't have a lake nearby, like you're underground or something, then dig a 4x4 four four hole, and you probably know what comes next, make an infinite water source. So now we have infinite water. As you can see. Now, this also works for bottles, but you only need one. So... So now, um, if we want the code, so since the code is 1, 3, 2, 1, that turns off. Three, that turns off. Two, and then the lamp will turn on. And there we go. That is how you make a very simple cauldron key, or what I'm going to call it. And no, I didn't find this off of a different YouTube video. I've made this myself. I have no idea how I came up with this. I guess I'm just pretty smart. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you can use this in your bases to hide stuff, maybe. Um... The only expense I'm really worried about is all the redstone, but you can buy that from villagers and you can mine that out really easily because it's pretty common. But other than that, um, the hay might be hard to get for these target blocks. And there's redstone in the crafting recipe for them. And the cauldrons are like seven iron, yeah. And other than that, um, yeah, have a nice day. Um, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Um, if you want more content like this, um, leave a comment saying that you'd like more redstone tutorials sometime. Um, I'm no Mumbo Jumbo or other anime guy, but, um, well, see you later.